Propane Autogas is a clean-burning, domestically produced fuel that offers fleet managers an economical alternative to gasoline and other fuels. School districts, municipalities, shuttle operators, cab companies, and other organizations are turning to propane autogas to reduce their costs and lower their emissions. By doing this, they are using a fuel that is produced in the U.S., resulting in American jobs. Hi, I'm Albert with Icom North America. Hello, I'm Kevin Yoder with Yoder's Automotive Specialist. In this diverse, expanding market, we are working to bring more dealers to help service your fleet nationwide. Today, we will be walking you through the installation of the ICOM JTG2 liquid propane system on a 2013 Chevy Tahoe. We hope you enjoy the video. The propane tanks are constructed in accordance with ASME code. They also meet the requirements of NFPA 58 and are registered for use in the United States as well as in all Canadian provinces. In most cases, the spare tire is removed to make room for the tanks. After a few modifications, they are mounted with grade 8 bolts and steel brackets. Once the tank is installed, gas lines and wires for the controls are ran on the vehicle's underside to the engine. The ICOM systems are available as bifuel in all platforms, as well as in monofuel in many platforms. To connect to the engine, the manifold is removed, drilled, and tapped to add the fuel rail. With the ICOM system, propane is injected into the manifold as a liquid, which has a cooling effect and does not lead to valve recession issues. The ICOM system easily adapts to most any fuel injected, direct injection, and diesel engines. Compared to many other propane systems on the market, the ICOM system has fewer components that are installed with ease. Every electrical connection is a plug-and-play setup, which makes wiring a no-hassle job. The fill nozzle that is used to load the propane into the tank can be installed on the vehicle in a variety of locations. There are even three types of connections that can be used, depending on your needs. There is only one small control unit which is placed on the inside of the vehicle. This allows you to monitor the amount of propane in your tank. ICOM's propane optimization program maximizes efficiency by using propane when available and converting to gasoline if needed, without the driver having to make the switch. Other parts that are installed under the hood are the fuel regulator and the fuel lock-off valve. The ICOM system is designed to fit every application and is neatly organized under the hood. Here is what the engine looks like before the installation. And here is what it looks like after. The ICOM systems can also be taken out of vehicles and installed into new vehicles of a similar design. As a result, it makes the conversion kits an investment for fleet owners that prefer to trade in their vehicles every few years. Hopefully you have gained a better understanding of the install process. For more information, please visit icomnorthamerica.com. ICOM has attained EPA certifications for over 600 vehicle platforms, the most in the industry. With up to 56,000 miles of pipeline and close to 3,500 refueling locations across the country, propane is accessible to consumers in all 50 states. Permanent stations are one refueling option available that comes with a 50% federal tax credit. That's up to $50,000 of the installation cost. Portable skid-mounted tanks and propane suppliers are other options that help make propane the most readily available alternative engine fuel in the United States. ICOM North America, with its partners, bring over 25 years of experience as a world-class manufacturer for the propane vehicle industry. 
with its innovative tanks and JTG2, JTG HP, JTG D systems, and numerous products supplied to OEMs and the aftermarkets worldwide. For more information, please visit icomnorthamerica.com.